Hello everybody, my name is Lazy Bum, and welcome to Lazy Shredder Gaming. Today we're going to be playing a psychological horror game called Finger Bones, and in the description it uh, has a warning that this game may have some sensitive content, so just as a disclaimer, the video that you are about to watch may have content that is um, maybe not so appropriate for a sensitive viewer. Um, that's just my disclaimer, so let's go ahead and get started. Fingerbones, a psychological horror game by David Siminski. I think I'm saying that right. Fingerbones is intended to be completed in a single sitting and there's no save function. It is suggested that you set, up, set aside about half an hour to complete it. To exit, visit the door you started at. Use WASD to move and the less mo left mouse button to interact. Press escape to toggle this screen and eyes inventory. Okay. Oh, that is sensitive. Turn it down a little bit. Still a little sensitive. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so what do we have here? Anything here? Can I crouch? No? Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to be reading these books. When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt the same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. Okay, nothing else there. Uh-oh. Can I take that? Someone gonna try and try and get me? <clears throat> it's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm really not in the mood. I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help and divorce certainly didn't help. Because I am not depressed, I am enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Okay. So, this character seems to be pretty intelligent. Nothing in there. Here's another one here. It appears to be a page from a manuscript. Pop morality is too reliant on emotion and not reliant enough on rational thought. If morality must be determined and I maintain that it is a that it is a farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral. Okay, so something going on here about immortality. Maybe that's what uh, this character was researching. Okay, I got a flashlight. Here we go. I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy. I suppose she's like her mother, a delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Okay, so it seems to be just giving us bits and pieces as of right now. I think I'm supposed to be looking for a way out of here. I just want to make sure that I get everything. I... Is that a generator? Seems like a generator. Okay. Can I open this? No? Do I have anything in my inventory? Oh, to invert the mouse. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just a generator. Okay, so what did that do for me? Is there a light switch? Oh, there's a glowy thing. Oh, what's her daughter's name? Did I miss that? Probably. Katie, that's right. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, let's try that. Oop. Katie. Did that unlock this door? It didn't make a sound. Katie. Well, let's see if that did anything first. I am spelling it, right? K-A-T-I-E. Okay, yeah. 
There was no indication that it did anything, but that doesn't mean that it didn't. There we go. Okay. It looks like we're going into the cellar here. It's finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams. And when the ashes settle, we will be we will all be wild animals again. I'm ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days and she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I are only sur only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed, freedom from the irrational rules and insane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. Is that the pen? Yeah, that's probably what she wrote with. Oh, there's a door and a hatch. Are there any other notes? Yeah, there's one right here. I've boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful. I've burned all the books that weren't for scientific education. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder myself. I just piled them up near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyway. Ooh. Okay, so can I go in here first? No? Alright, can I go here? Can I do anything with the boxes? Oh, there's a note back here. Here we go. The tool room has been her name for years now, and I can't bring myself to change it. Is this a tool room? Why can't I get in it? Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just had to go back up to the computer and change the name. Alright, it's getting a little bit more spooky. There's another door. And a f is there, can I open this? Seems like something I might be able to open. No. Alright, I just want to make sure that I, I get everything that I can. Alright, here's another note. I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember. NNY. The rest of the word is missing. NNY. Hmm. Okay. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures and we're barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. We need more candles in case a generator goes out again and it helps break up the monotony. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. First weeks? First weeks of what? There are things I've wanted to do for years. Desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman, and now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up anymore. Okay, so this guy was locked down here for a while then? Is that what I'm guessing? Alright, seems we have another puzzle. NNY. Yep, that was it. Alright, what do we have in here? One more note. I'm a bag of DNA and I exist to make my, make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demand rep reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking of silly little artifacts, artifact, artifactal laws to live by because my forefathers built cities and societies to to allow time and peace to reproduce and to protect their genes dreams love opinions desires beauty innocence figments of our collective primordial imagination fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synapses for a pointless moment in time they used to serve a purpose, and now they are needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on earth for all I know, ready to be freed from them. Oh gee, so it sounds... Sounds not good mentally. Uh-oh, let's go find out what's in the hatch. Man. No, that's not what that button was for. Is there something that I missed? 
Maybe it's for that little push pl uh, plate upstairs. Yep, it looks like this is indented. Oh, jeez. The seller's freedom. Those look like shards of glass and blood. I'm scared. I don't want to go down there. There's only enough food for one. So she's going to die anyway and I'm free now. Freedom. It took the end of all of humanity for me to find freedom. She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods, her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts, my statements to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in the safe upstairs. I am content in the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. The father didn't know why he'd come back from after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died as he left in the pitch dark. He sat down there on the cold floor with his and closed his eyes. He could still hear her, even now. It was peaceful here in the cellar. It was free here in the cellar. Alright, so after going back and watching the video, I kind of realized um, what happened there. It, in case you didn't catch it like I did, um, I started out with two parents getting a divorce and having split custody of the kid. And it was a dad's turn to have, the, to have Katie for the week or the weekend or however long. And that's when the war started, a war of some sort. Um, anyways, it caused them to go down to this shelter that they had made and they were down there for about a year before they started running out of food and the dad went insane and raped and murdered Katie. And apparently no one found out the war must have ended or, or something like that. And he left and he came back and read all of his notes that we were, pl we were playing as the father and we went back to revisit what had happened. And apparently he kept his daughter's fingers as a reminder and that's why the game is called finger bones um, so yeah it was, it was kind of a sad <laughs> depressing game and I kind of regret playing it but it's done all right so. thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it go ahead and hit that like button down below if you want to see me play more horror games leave the suggestions in the comment section below and uh, I will see you tomorrow night but until then just be lazy.